We often see male businessmen in the list of the world's top billionaires. However, a surprising statistic according to Forbes' latest ranking list of the richest people on the planet is that there are currently 337 female billionaires in the world, up from 327 in 2022, accounting for 13%. Among them, there are many female entrepreneurs who have worked tirelessly to build a huge fortune for themselves. The rest they inherited from their families or their husbands. In today's video, Luxury Style will share with you fascinating information about the world's richest female billionaires and their interesting journeys. However, please note that the numbers we compile may change over time because assets from billionaires' investments will fluctuate up or down. Below are detailed contents. Number 1. In the first place is the businesswoman Francoise Betancourt Myers with more than 94 billion USD. Francoise Betancourt Myers was born on July 10, 1953, in Noli Suassine, being the granddaughter of the founder of the world famous cosmetics company L'Oreal, Eugene Schuller. She has served on the board of directors of L'Oreal since 1997 and is the chairwoman of the family holding the company of French personal care. After her mother, Lillianne Betancourt passed away in September 2017, Betancourt Myers became the reigning queen of L'Oreal of France and the heir to a huge fortune and began joining Forbes' list of billionaires. The year of 2023 is the third consecutive year she holds the title of richest woman in the world thanks to the cosmetics brand stock increase of 12% in the past 12 months. Betancourt Myers leads a rather simple and reserved life. She's married to Jean-Pierre, who is the chairman of the board of directors of L'Oreal. They have two children and both were raised in Hebrew. Her son, Nicholas Myers, is one of the board members of L'Oreal. As the beauty industry continues to grow, with L'Oreal as one of the dominant companies, Betancourt Myers' fortune continues to grow. Her business acumen and involvement in the family company have contributed significantly to her wealth and influence in the industry. According to Forbes, she has released two books related to the Bible and Greek gods. Instead of going to luxury parties, she plays the piano three to four hours every day, often hangs around at home, and immerses herself in her own world. According to Tom Sankton, the author of The Betancourt Story, from a young age, she was uncomfortable with the world of the rich. According to Insider, the billionaire does not care much about the beauty or fashion. Betancourt Myers follows minimalism, naturalness, and shopping for enough. Her wardrobe is mostly dark-colored or blue-toned outfits, including blazers, pants, suits, and flat shoes. According to Forbes, Betancourt Myers is less interested in L'Oreal's problems than her mother. She focuses on charity work and is currently the president of the family charity Betancourt Schiller Foundation. This foundation invests in science and the arts, supports research projects on neurons, helps families with autistic children, and invests in choirs in France. In 2019, she contributed 230 million USD to the restoration of Notre Dame Cathedral. Number 2 Ranked second is Alice Walton, with a net worth of more than 60 billion USD. Being the daughter of Sam Walton, the founder of Walmart, with a fortune of 65.3 billion USD, she became the second richest woman in the world. Mrs. Alice Walton's full name is Alice Louise Walton, born on October 7, 1949, being the only daughter of Sam Walton, the founder of the Walmart retail empire. Born and raised with her brothers in Arkansas, she studied economics and finance at Trinity University, San Antonio, Texas. Before diving into art collecting, she started her career as an equity analyst and money manager for First Commerce Corporation and headed investment operations at Harvest Bank Group. She owns the nearly 6,000 square meter Rocking W Ranch Farm on the banks of the romantic Brazos River. In addition, she is also another farm of nearly 18,000 square meters in Texas. This female billionaire spends most of her time living here, mowing grass to raise horses, immersing herself in rural life, even though she also owns a two-story penthouse apartment of nearly 600 square meters and worth no less than 25 million USD in the building Park Avenue in New York. Currently, Walmart's online revenue is still growing strongly. In America's giant retail empire, the Walton family's income from Walmart is equal to the wealth of 42% of low-income American families combined. Number 3. Julia Koch ranked third with a net worth of more than 58 billion USD. Julia Koch, the wife of the late billionaire David Koch, who once held the position of vice president of Koch Industries, is currently the richest woman in America and the third richest female billionaire in the world. 
Mrs. Julia Margaret Flesher Koch inherited her wealth from her late husband, Mr. David Koch, the former CEO and co-owner of Koch Industries. The group has headquarters in Wichita, Kansas, USA, operating in oil refining, pipelines, commodity trading, livestock, and pulp, and has annual revenues of approximately $125 billion. Julia Margaret Flesher was born on April 12, 1962, and grew up in Indianola, Iowa, where her family owned a farm and a furniture store called Flesher's. Julia and David were married in Southampton in 1996. She has a rather reserved private life, so there's not much information about Julia Cox's personal life rather than her marriage to David and her position on the company's board of directors. Moreover, she's known to have made significant donations to many foundations and given more than $200 million to educational, arts, and medical research organizations. After David Koch passed away in 2019, Julia became one of the richest women in the world after inheriting 42% of Koch industry shares. Number 4. Mackenzie Scott with the assets of more than 39 billion USD In 1994, Mrs. Scott and her husband Bezos built the Amazon Empire. Even though she's rich, she lives a simple and reserved life, avoiding media attention. After leaving her marriage with Jeff and receiving a quarter of Amazon shares, she currently owns the assets of about 53 billion USD. With the assets, she became the fourth richest female billionaire in the world. Mrs. Scott was born in 1970 into a well-off family. Her maternal grandfather is the CEO and chief consultant for El Paso Natural Gas, a large energy company. Her grandmother is Dorothy, a volunteer participating in many charity organizations. The better things that Mackenzie did were following in the footsteps of her grandparents and cultivating philanthropy. This is also the first time Forbes has honored Scott as the most powerful woman in the world. Female billionaire Mackenzie Scott received the attention for giving away a huge amount of $12 billion in just three years. Bloomberg estimated that Miss Scott held a fortune of $62 billion earlier this year, but recently due to the stock market decline and huge donations, her assets are only worth about $39 billion. Despite the divorce that millions of people were watching with her first husband, the founder of Amazon, Mrs. Mackenzie Scott, has always been a discreet and elusive character. Currently being the fourth richest female billionaire in the world, she could absolutely build a cancer treatment center, have a museum named after her, and build a university, or like most technology tycoons, she could establish a separate organization to donate based on her own concept of the way to best solve social problems. However, the female writer chose a different path. Miss Scott awarded 116 grants all at once to mostly small organizations with few criteria attached. They didn't need to achieve the metrics she sets or create programs that she enjoys. Miss Scott even refused to be thanked when nonprofit organizations wanted to show gratitude. More specifically, she chose the organizations led by people with lived experience. As Scott said, women leading women's groups, people of color leading racial equality groups. Through these extraordinary means, Scott has surpassed her ex-husband in the field of philanthropy and rewritten the typical games for super-rich philanthropists. Most recently, the mother of four children donated two mansions worth a total of $55 million to the charity. Now, instead of being remembered as the ex-wife of the Amazon billionaire, Mackenzie Scott has completely escaped her husband's shadow, becoming a prominent philanthropist. Number 5. Jacqueline Mars with more than $37 billion USD Jacqueline Mars was born into the richest family in America, and she inherited a huge fortune from the world's largest candy empire, Mars Incorporated of her family. Mars and her brother John Mars each own a third of the shares in the multinational candy corporation. Mars Incorporated was founded by her grandfather Frank C. Mars in 1911. The company is also the fifth largest company in the United States. The candy maker's most famous brands include Milky Way, M&M's, Three Musketeers, Twix, Skittles, and Snickers, which is set to be named after the Mars family's favorite horse. Mr. Forrest Sr.'s father created malt-flavored gummies and M&M's, more than 400 millions of which are produced in the United States every day. Since then, Mars has expanded into customer and pet food with popular brands like Uncle Ben's Rice and Whiskas under the Mars umbrella. The closely held company has annual revenues of more than $30 billion. She's been working here for nearly 20 years and served on the board of directors until 2016. In addition, Jacqueline is also an active participant in volunteer activities. Having graduated from Bryn Mawr College, Jacqueline is an educated woman. Besides being proficient in the fields of business and finance, she's also knowledgeable about anthropology. She always remains disciplined and hardworking, which makes her one of the most successful businesswomen globally. 
It is known that being the head of a large confectionery corporation, Jacqueline is a lover and passionate about chocolates. Regarding her personal life, Jacqueline Mars married David H. Badger in 1961. They had three children but divorced in 1984. She married Hank Vogel in 1986, they divorced in 1984, Jacqueline now lives in Virginia. Like many other billionaires, Jacqueline is a prominent philanthropist, including donating to the National Symphony Orchestra and Australian Outback Doctors. She is also a trustee of the United States Equestrian Team and is on the board of directors of the National Sports Library and the Museum of Fine Arts. Number 6. Miriam Adelson with a total net worth of nearly 32 billion USD. Adelson is the chief shareholder of Las Vegas Sands, the world's largest casino operator. Born October 10, 1945, she's an American Israeli doctor, donor, and political sponsor. She was married to Sheldon Adelson from 1991 until his death in 2021 and inherited shares after her husband's death. After getting married, the Adelson family regularly donated hundreds of millions of dollars to charity organizations, medical centers, and drug treatment centers in the US and Israel. They also established a medical research fund, which Miriam managed. Mrs. Miriam is no less powerful than her husband Sheldon in terms of both assets and achievements in life. In contrast to her husband who loved to get rich, Mrs. Miriam focuses her attention on the field of drug prevention. Recently, she has been busy with several business projects to establish casinos in Asian countries such as China and Japan. She has also been honored with several prestigious awards, including the Woman of the Year Award and the Outstanding Philanthropist Award. Number 7. Rafaela Aponte Daimont with more than 27 billion USD. Aponte Daimont joined the top 10 richest women in the world this year when Forbes revised the valuation of MSC, which she co founded with her husband, Juan Luigi, in 1970. When container shipping rates increased sharply in 2020 to 2022, causing MSC's operating costs to increase, the founder and her husband began to use the remaining cash to make a number of acquisitions. In June 2021, MSC invested 1.6 billion USD in a 10% stake in Terminal Investments Limited, two years after selling a small stake to a Singaporean sovereign wealth fund. In September 2021, the company acquired a 74% stake in Brazilian logistics company Login Logistica in a deal worth $314 million. The climax was in January 2022, when Mediterranean shipping company MSC completed the acquisition of Danish shipping giant AP Muller Maersk. After more than 50 years since the founding of MSC, the Apont couple still tightly controls the company. In particular, Gianluigi and Raffaella are the only two shareholders, dividing 50% of the shares equally for each person. Gianluigi is the chief executive officer, and his son Diego serves as the president. Raffaella plays a role on the board of directors and is in charge of interior decoration for the yacht. Number 8. Gina Reinhardt owns a total assets of up to 27 billion USD and ranks 8th on the list of the world's richest female billionaires. Gina Reinhardt took control of the family business when her father died in 1992. She transformed a company in serious financial trouble into the largest private company in Australia and one of the largest mining companies in the world. She's currently the executive chairman of Hancock Prospecting, the company founded by her father Lang Hancock. She is considered the world's first lithium queen thanks to increasingly investing in precious and important metals and batteries used to power electric vehicles. In the past two months, she has conducted two bold deals, distributing the plans of other companies in the industry. Firstly, she brought 19.9% of Liontown Resources, an emerging lithium mining company in Australia. The move caused Albemarle USA to abandon their offer to buy Liontown worth $4.2 billion. Second, her purchase of 15.4% of Azure Minerals shares also messed up the plans of Sociedad Quimica y Minera SQM. Previously, Chile's leading lithium corporation was planning to acquire Azure Minerals. The two deals follow an earlier investment by the female billionaire in Vulcan Energy Resources, which is developing a lithium and geothermal energy project in Germany's Rhine Valley. It is estimated that up to now, Ms. Gina Reinhardt has spent a total of 1.5 billion USD on investments in lithium. Gina Reinhardt is a diligent woman who always knows how to overcome difficulties in life as well as in the marketplace. However, the female billionaire is a strict boss. She always avoids contact with the press and rarely interacts with business people. Every day, G. Reinhardt still runs all her business from the same room where her father used to work and is always proud of what she's accomplished. She does a lot of charity work but does not publicize much on social networks. The female billionaire donated a building and orphanage in Cambodia. 
She also funds the education of poor young girls and fights tirelessly to curb human trafficking. Number 9. Suzanne Clatton ranked 9th with more than 23 billion USD. Suzanne Clatton is considered the steel rose inheriting BMW when she owns 19% of the shares of this prestigious German car company. Suzanne Clatton's father is the legendary industrialist Herbert Quant, who turned BMW into the luxurious car giant that it is today. When he died in 1982, he left Suzanne, her younger brother Stefan, and her biological mother, the third wife Johanna Quant, the BMW property, and many other assets. Suzanne Clatton has a degree in marketing and management, an undergraduate degree in economics, and an MBA in advertising. Before joining the BMW Supervisory Board in 1997, she worked for Dresner Bank and McKinsey Group under the fake name Suzanne Kant to avoid managers and colleagues knowing her true identity, because she did not want to be involved in trouble related to her noble background. However, Clatton is rich not only because of her inheritance, but also because of being a well-trained economist and having excellent business strategies. Beside the automotive sector, Suzanne holds a controlling stake in chemical producer Altana, and also has stakes in Wind Energy, Company Nordex, AG, and Carbon Fiber and Graphite SGL and GeoHumus producers. As a billionaire, Susanna is also an active philanthropist. She has made significant contributions to many charitable organizations such as medical equipment for the poor, scholarships for disadvantaged students, as well as research-supported universities. She was awarded the Bayerischer Verdienstorden Award for her contributions to the support of the progressive reform policies of the Democratic Party. Number 10. Iris von Bona has total assets of more than 22 billion USD. Von Bona is the wife of mining tycoon and beverage company owner Andronico Luxig. After her husband died of cancer in 2005, Ms. Von Bona and her three sons now own large copper mines across Chile through mining group Antofagasta PLC. They also hold large shares in other businesses such as banks, securities, and beverages. Von Bona and her children control Antofagasta PLC, which owns copper mines in Chile and trades on the London Stock Exchange. They also own a majority of stake in Kinyenko, a publicly traded Chilean conglomerate that operates in banking, beer, and manufacturing. Andronico Luxic's death in 2005 forced Iris von Bona to take control of the company and become such a powerful widow that as of 2021, she's the 10th richest woman in the world and the first in Latin America thanks to managing $23.1 billion in assets. She rarely appears in front of the press or media, however her close friends have described her as a wonderful, generous, and intelligent woman who is completely devoted to her family and is a trustworthy friend. Despite inheriting a huge wealth from their families or the late husbands, it cannot be denied that female billionaires are very talented in operating and managing the inherited assets. In particular, most of them are very active in social activities and charity work. And you? Which female billionaire among them are you most impressed at? Please leave your comment right below the video. See you again in Luxury Styles' latest video.